everyone, Steve the Happy Camper here. Welcome back to my shoebox adventures. Today my adventure has taken me back to Saddle Mountain, Arizona. That's right, Saddle Mountain, 14 day free camping, BLM land, thousands of acres surrounding the fabulous Saddle Mountain. Now this is only one hour, about an hour west of Metro Phoenix. Yesterday I had to take care of some business but I'd had a stressful week at work and wanted to go camping somewhere, so I thought, let's go back to Saddle Mountain. It's close. And here I am. Got in late last night, didn't finish setting up. Uh, who cares? Got a great night's sleep in the old runaway cool camp. And, uh, and I've got a pretty good camp spot this time, uh, better than last time. So I thought I'd show it to you. Uh, yeah, Saddle Mountain is right behind me. Let's take a look at it. There you go. There is Saddle Mountain, Arizona. See if I can get a get a look at it here. Uh-oh, going the wrong way. There we go. Uh, and uh, I wanted to camp right up there against the bottom of the mountain. This, this dirt road goes all the way up there, but somebody's already there. Some lucky camper beat me to that spot. So I'm down the hill a little bit, but, uh, but still all by myself. You know, he's way up there. I don't know. It's so quiet here. You can probably hear me. But let me give you a panorama. It's, it's, uh, it's late February here in Arizona, and we've had a great winter. We've had a wet winter, which, uh, which brings out a lot of bloom in the desert in the spring. Now, we're not at the full bloom yet, but it, it has begun. Oh, look, here comes a truck. Huh, see, here comes a truck down this wonderful road. You can hear the tires popping on the rocks. So this is a great place to camp. Uh, you can, the, the road is no good, but you can get back in here. You don't need four-wheel drive. Just go really slow. And, and you'll be fine. You know, he's got some great clearance there. But let's, uh, let's go back to the desert <laughs> and see what we've got. You'll notice a lot of yellow. We've got blooms going on here. Got my solar working. Oh, yeah, and there's the runaway. Yeah, there's the runaway right behind me. Got the red dragon pulling it right there. And, uh, and I've got a view. Let's take a look at the view I've got now. I set up facing the mountain so I can wake up to that beautiful mountain view. But down the hill, down the hill, we've got, uh, we've got a beautiful view. Let's take a look at it here. Let's walk over here. You can see how spacious this is. Now, last year at this time, it's been about a year since I camped here. That was my first time here. Uh, I was way over on the other side of that mountain. You know, I was I was like a mile over there, two miles over there. I don't know how far it was, way over there. But, um, but isn't this interesting? Isn't this uh, nice and peaceful? I don't know if you can see there are some rigs down the road there. There are other people enjoying this. And civilization is not too far away. You can probably, if I hold still, see the movement of the traffic on I-10. I-10 is the main corridor between Los Angeles and Phoenix. That also, we're about an hour from Quartzsite. If you go west from here, if you know Quartzsite, if you're familiar with that, we're about an, we're, we're right between Quartzsite and Phoenix. So I could have gone to Quartzsite, but I would have got there when it got dark. I'm not big at setting up after dark, as you know. That doesn't really work for me. I, uh, I'm not even big at setting up at the last minute when the sun's going down, because I'm, you know, I'm slow. <laughs> I putter, I get easily distracted. But, uh, but here I am, and I'm so glad I came. I feel better already. And I wanted to share this with you. Now, it's 12 noon straight up. Maybe it's quarter to one, but this is the worst possible time if you talk to a photographer to do any, any photography at all. So, of course, I'm showing it to you now. But I will, I will come back when the, when, the, uh, when the light is more forgiving and uh, more complimentary to the scenery around. Just wanted to show this to you real quick. I'm about to have a snack. I need, I've got some brie cheese. Uh, coming to room temperature. It's warm here today, really warm. I don't know what the temperature is. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and uh, it's warm. I'm, I'm seeking shade. So spring has sprung. <laughs> spring has sprung here and uh, it won't be long, only about two more months and I'll be uh, heading for the high country, I hope. Getting back to those tall ponderosa pines, alpine lakes, streams, yeah. Summer camping here in Arizona. Year-round camping, love the state. Okay, guys, I'm gonna let you go for now. Uh, I think I've given you, a, given you a bird's eye view of what I've got. Might go on a hike later. I don't know if I'm gonna get that ambitious. <laughs> it always sounds like a great idea. Uh, but I, I definitely will be back with some more pictures 
to show you Saddle Mountain, Arizona. If you want to come out here, it's easy to find. And if you forgot something, another nice thing is it's only about a 15 minute drive to Tonopah and you can pick up supplies. They've even, you know, they've even got like a subway there. If you just don't feel like making anything, get yourself a sandwich. But uh, so it's, it's kind of a fun spot and, and it's not, it's not full. It's not like quartzite where it's wall to wall people. It's, it's uh, you can get away from everyone else out here if that's what you want to do. So, uh, so stay tuned. Hope you're having a wonderful time. Wish you were here. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you with some more pictures later when, uh, when the photography will be even more impressive and you'll be uh, wanting to come even more. Take care. Well, hey everyone. Well, that about wraps it up for this particular shoebox adventure. We're gonna uh, we're gonna say goodbye to Saddle Mountain, head on down the hill. But uh, it was a fun one. It's a be it's beautiful up here. We got another storm front coming in, of course. It's windy and uh, uh, temperatures dropping. It's supposed to rain off and on for the next uh, four days or more. We'll wait and see what happens. But I was glad to get this in before the storm came. Uh, you got uh, Saddle Mountain right there behind me. Well, my gimbal doesn't want to play. I don't know how to work any cameras. It's got to be fun watching these since the guy operating the camera doesn't know what the heck he's doing. But there it is right behind me. Let's flip this around. I'll give you a look at the shoebox. I hooked it up to the Red Dragon. We're really ready to rock here. Let's flip it around. Let's flip it around. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this works great. Ah, the flip. There you go. All right, there we go. Looking good with the valley below. Clouds are coming in. Wind is blowing. You can't really tell right now. It was really howling earlier. Of course, when I was trying to break up camp was when it was at the worst. <laughs> Murphy's Law. Love that guy. Uh, so thanks again for coming with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and if you did, you guys know what to do, right? Until next time. It's going to be a couple weeks till I get out again, but I... I've got, I'm behind on my postings. I've got some stacked up, so uh, I'll get them out there. Thanks for watching if you are. And uh, until next time, right? Until next time, be safe and uh, happy camping, everyone. Thanks again. Bye-bye.